experiencing pain in your hip while you're sleeping, you're like so many of us. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about how that works and what is actually causing those various pains. So there's typically two areas where people experience pain when they're sleeping on their side in their hip. One is either on the outside of your hip here, this is called your trochanter, and there's oftentimes irritation here. People have bursitis, hip bursitis. See, there's all these muscles, and they're not even all shown here on the skeleton, but all these muscles that attach there. And another common place is in the groin. It's where the hip joint is, and there's a lot going on in this area as well. So if you're lying, let's say, on your side, and the side that's on the bottom is hurting, so typically that can be either, like I said, on the outside of the hip or in the groin. So if the bottom leg is hurting, it could be that the bursa is irritated on, the, on this side here, and that could be pressing too much pressure basically on your bed. So using some sort of pressure dispersing material like a memory foam um, or a, a foam surface will help to distribute that force more evenly and take some of that pressure off of that area. Another solution for pain on the outside of the hip that's on the bottom is using a pillow between your knees and your, your ankles. This will help to align both of your hips and decrease all that pressure going to that one spot. Now, if this bottom leg is experiencing pain here in the groin in this position, that has to do with the angle that the leg is. The leg is a little bit more towards the inside and not towards the outside, and that will cause pinching in that area. It can be related to um, arthritis, can be related to uh, labrum issues, can be related to hip flexor tension. All of those are cause symptoms right here in the inner groin. So similarly, putting pillows in between your knees and your ankles is great. Now, in this particular situation, you oftentimes need thicker pillows. So this one's a pretty thin, um, and it is between my ankles and my knees. But if I had maybe double that and my legs were like this, it would create more space in the hip joints, and that would make me feel a lot better. Now, what if you're lying on your side at night and you're trying to sleep and you're feeling pain in the top of your hip? So similar kind of phenomenon here where the bursa on the top of your hip, especially if you're not using a pillow, gets strained. It's kind of being stretched. You can see my legs kind of going down here, and that is putting strain and stretch on all these muscles here as well as on that bursa. So if I put those two pillows in between my, my knees, as I was mentioning, it's going to take some of that strain and some of that stretch off because I'm not stretching it and irritating it as much. So big, thick pillows. I'm talking like... You know, when, when you lie on them, sometimes they squish together, right? So you want to make sure that your legs are, you know, probably 10 inches apart. <clears throat> so more like this. Um, similarly, if you're experiencing like pinching in the groin on the top leg, again, related to arthritis or bursa issues or hip flexor tension, having that space open with more pillows between your knees is going to be helpful. So ultimately, making sure that the surface is dispersing enough force and making sure that you have pillows between both your knees and your ankles will help keep things in a line and take some strain off of these areas of your hip that can get irritated when you're sleeping on your side. 